Hey guys, so we're here in week one, uh, day two. This is actually a Tuesday. Um, here in the racquetball court right now, so that's why it's a little bit echoey. And I'll be doing a session uh, on the court. I just wanted to give you an update of what I've done this week. Yesterday I was able to get a mile in uh, during my lunch at work. And I also did a 30 minute session with the Nike Training uh, Club app, which kind of gives you a video that you can follow um, and exercises to do. And I will go into further detail with that app once I get a couple weeks in. These apps were both free. That's the best part. You know, losing weight on a budget is uh, what most of us have to go through. So I just finished on the racquetball court, as you can tell, I'm dying a little bit. Need to try to relax, get some water in, recover. We're on day two, making sure we work out every day, at least get some sort of activity. Hasn't been easy at all. Can't believe it's only been three days. I'm over here thinking about bad food and pizza and, and, and fast food and all that, but I'm trying to stay strong. I will stay strong because I'm doing this for myself and to try to inspire some of you guys out there that are also on the same path. It's crazy to me that it's only been a few days and I've really seen a lot of changes and not just physically, but like kind of emotionally in my everyday energy. Changing my food intake, it was really terrible before. I'm not kidding when I tell you that I would spend money on a daily basis to, you know, buy food and stuff. You know, I feel a little bit more happier every day, actually being, you know, excited to work out and it really hasn't been a struggle for me. And I know it's very difficult for a lot of people during their first couple weeks. It really got to a point where I realized everything that I'm not doing anymore that I actually love to do um, was my fault. Picking the foods that I should not be eating and you know, being lazy and not going out to exercise anymore. Working in a cubicle for eight hours in a day, going home and having dinner and just like relaxing and just like being on the computer, on the internet, on you know Netflix or YouTube or whatever. You know, doing that for too long kept me away from everything that I really wanted to do. I was really involved and passionate trying to work in movies as an extra and, you know, working in nature. And I used to travel all the time and work with kids and lead events. And I stopped that for several years. And part of that was because of, you know, the actual weight. Not being able to walk, you know, a certain distance without feeling like major back pain. I pulled myself away from those things and that was the wrong thing to do. I should have saw those signals as there's something wrong and there's something that I should be fixing. You know, I realized that I love those things more than I love, you know, actual eating. <laughs> it's weird to say. When you love something more than you actually love, you know, eating a piece of pizza or eating, you know, french fries or fast food, that's important. Follow what you love and if what you're doing is stopping you from what you love, then you need to change what exactly is you that you're doing. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm changing it. I actually went in for a mile walk yesterday at work during lunchtime. And I also went and did 40 minutes in the racquetball court with my friend Sandra. I forgot my tripod in the car, so I wasn't able to film any of that, but I'm sure we'll do it on the next one. So it's Saturday. Yesterday I went to do some quick grocery shopping to stock up for the next week. <laughs> I'm in the middle of a workout right now. 46 minutes, I'm like taking a halfway break to update you on what I did yesterday. So yesterday I did my Wednesday workout since I didn't get to do that this week. I was at my dad's house working on building my new bed frame, which will be a video on its own. And I also did a benchmark workout, which I think is a workout for the app to like test where you are so far. So those were the two that I did yesterday. And today is Saturday, I'm doing a 46 minute workout and dying. <laughs> so I finished today's workout. It was definitely tough. I took a little break before I got on here just so I could actually have a conversation with you without having to take deep breaths in between. <laughs> Luckily the, the app allows you to pause. So I was able to like stop in the middle where I needed to take a break, drink some water, get back into it. But the good thing is that it was finished. 
you know, I don't really care how long it's going to take. As long as I'm able to get through the session, I'm like happy about it. Tomorrow is a recovery day and we'll see if we can get a walk in before the check in for the weigh in for the first full week, day eight of this process. We have one week down with 51 weeks to go. I'm more than excited. I'm, every day I'm like waking up happy and energetic about doing this on a daily basis. And I'm just happy that I finally like have been able to switch over from, you know, most people feel like it's like, it's, it's a task and like, oh, I would rather have this or I would rather have that, you know, to eat. And because of the reasoning of me doing this is being able to get back out there and, you know, doing everything I want to do and doing everything I, that I love to do. It's kind of like motivating me to keep going and pursuing it and not quitting. So it's Sunday and we just finished doing the mile and next we're going to do the weigh-in for day eight. Ready for those results? Okay. Super excited. We'll show that next. We did our weigh-in last week and we're here to see what the differences are. What do you think is going to happen? I think you're going to do good. I'm going to do bad, guys. So. Well, we will see what those results are. And if it wasn't as good as we expect, we still have a couple more weeks yep. to continue and push ourselves and communicate on what we're doing, talk about the plans, and see how we can better everything. All right, guys. Time to weigh in. Let's see. All right, guys. 232, lost one pound, what I'm actually shocked about because I didn't eat as healthy as I should have or even worked out like I should have. So to actually lose one pound because I did make small changes to my diet is actually a good thing. So I'm actually really, really happy. So thanks, guys. All right, so it's time to weigh in. We got Shamia down a pound. So let's see what we have for my results. Ooh, 276. <laughs> Point two. Um, if I remember correctly, last week it was 282. Um, I'm going to put the results for our changes somewhere on the screen, and we'll see what that is compared to last week. We have to keep pushing it, keep going, and I'll catch you next week.